how to enable unsupported Thunderbolt 3 devices on your MacBook Pro using a handy hack. This Thunderbolt 3 dock from StarTech has DisplayPort that allows me to connect to my 4K monitor sitting over there. And it's really cool because it's just like one cable and I have 4K at 60 Hertz. However, the problem with this device is that it only works with Windows unless you're willing to install this hack. Now, the good news is that the hack works fairly well and it will allow me to run a 4K display at 60 Hertz via a single Thunderbolt cable. And of course it going from the mini display port on the StarTech dock. Now this dock, like I said, is Windows only out of the box. In other words, when you connect it to your MacBook Pro without running this hack, it's not gonna even detect it or it'll detect it, but it will say it's unsupported. So you can't use it at all with your MacBook Pro out of the box. So if I go to system information and I look at the Thunderbolt section under hardware, you'll see right here, unsupported. So it does recognize it, but since it wasn't certified for Mac OS, it's not supported. Okay, so now we're gonna restart our computer, but before we do that, we're gonna unplug the Thunderbolt 3 cable. And again, just to reiterate, you're doing this at your own risk. This is not supported because again, this is a hack. So as you restart, you wanna hold the Command and R keys on your keyboard, just like this, which will put you in recovery mode. Then you wanna to go to Utilities and go to Terminal. And once you're at Terminal, then you want to type in the following, CSR Util space disable. This will disable system integrity protection. Hit the return key on your keyboard and then restart your computer. Now after rebooting, you wanna open up Safari and go to the GitHub page that I have linked in the description for TB3 Enabler. You wanna click this link here for TB3 Enabler, right click on where it says raw and then click where it says download linked file. That'll save the Python file to your downloads folder. If you're using Safari by default, it saves it to downloads. So now you wanna open up a terminal window, just like this, and you wanna type in chmod space plus x space. Okay, now open the downloads folder and then find the file we just downloaded, the script file for TB3 enabler. And then you just wanna drag that over to your terminal window and release like this and your screen should look like this. Then you just hit return on your keyboard and that will change the permissions of that file so that you can execute it. Now you wanna type sudo space and then drag over that file again and then type apply. And then press return on your keyboard into your password for your Mac. Okay, so this part is gonna take just a little bit, a few seconds, so just be patient and wait it out. It'll be done in no time. Almost there. Okay, we're completed. So now all you need to do is just close out these windows and we'll be able to restart our computer. Okay, so now we can go ahead and reinsert the Thunderbolt 3 cable. And now we're gonna go back to the system information section and then go back to the Thunderbolt 3 section under hardware. And there you go, folks. You can see that StarTech dock, it no longer says unsupported, but you can see it has that 40 gigabits per second. Perfect, folks. So if we go to graphics and displays, you can see my 4K display running at 60 Hertz as well. So ladies and gentlemen, there you go. An unsupported device, nail supported, thanks to this special patch. Again, you are doing this at your own risk, but I have confirmed, as you can see here, that it does work. Now this StarTech dock isn't perfect. It has some issues with power delivery uh, when used on Mac OS, and there's some other things you wanna consider as well. Uh, so check out the full post over at 9to5Mac for more details. But in the meantime, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.